you guys, I can tell you this, dozens and dozens of confirmations. Dozens, okay? Yeah. Dozens. Yeah. And, so, and, and, so this is not. So, what does that mean? Well, the, we're, what it means is, you guys, that this is farther down the road. So, when people you snicker and go, "Oh, those aren't those aren't prison cars for people. Oh, those aren't for people. Oh, those aren't for people." Wait until the people who are stating that end up there. You know. Yeah. It is the. It's what is my friend. Uh, uh, you know, uh, David just sent me an email, and he said, "He said, Steve." Is that my gut wrenches seeing what is happening to this nation and it's coming apart at warp speed. And he says, thank you guys for your years of warnings and your commitment to Jesus. This is getting nuts. You know, again, it is nuts. But you see, that's the problem. Sin is insanity. But sin rules the day. And when I talk about sin, I'm not talking about, you know, just the act of sin. I'm talking about the open... Uh, supernatural warfare going on between <coughs> light and darkness. Well, well, yeah, <coughs> excuse me, uh, Steve. Not, w- w- one question I have, and, and, and this kind of freaks me out too. You know, here we are. It's we're we're in the studio. It's uh, we, we we basically win, windowless studio. It's night. You know, we're, we're uh, uh, researched to the hilt. We hear about all this, all this bad stuff. You know, tomorrow we'll go outside and people will be shopping. They'll be going to the movies. Everything seems normal. Uh, people will be at the malls. People will be working at their jobs. People will be ordering pizza, eating at restaurants. Uh, how can this be? How, how can we have right now this tremendous, all these tremendous problems and everything appear normal? I mean, that sounds mm-hmm. like a, an academic question, but I, I that kind of freaks me out, man. Well, I, I have an answer, okay? And we're living in the days of Noah, okay, where people are eating and drinking and making merry, and they knew not the hour when the flood came until it came. In other words, they're going to, they won't, they won't, uh, know it, okay? Uh, let me just quote this out of Matthew 24, 37, 39. May I? Look, can I tell you something? When I don't have an answer, I go to the Word of God. God is always faithful, always true, always just, always merciful. And see, he's, he, God's, God's heart, hey, we got hearts that can be broken. His heart's broken for the sin of this nation because we've broken covenant. We've broken every promise. We've broken even our fidelity. The, you know, just the whole, the whole family uh, structure in America is being taken apart by every form of evil. Let me read this. I'm reading Matthew 24, 37 through 39. Hawk reads it out of Luke 21. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in those days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking and marrying and given in marriage until the day that Noah entered in the ark, and knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So also shall the coming of the Son of Man be. Does that answer your question, Doug? They're not going to know it until it's upon them because they're too busy. If you can sum up that stuff, they're too busy partying. They're too busy, uh, you know, making merry. And uh, basically, they just don't get it. And meanwhile, you, you uh, Joe, me, others who are on talk radio or, or in the, the uh, sounding the alarm mode, we're trying to get them to build an ark. And the ark is the Lord Jesus Christ. Let me share something. Uh, and I don't want to not let you guys talk, but we're, no. we're so out of time. I went to, real quick, a, a one-minute version. I have not left the state of Montana to go to any, quote, gathering of uh, 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 believers or anything for probably 12 years. I was asked uh, to go to Florida. I sought the Lord. He said, go. It was some of the most amazing watchmen. And to a T, you guys, to a T, I think there were 12 there. Uh, one of them was a very famous author of a book. Uh, he told me, he said, Steve, the Lord told me after August, I'm basically done. And then a man named Brad, I won't give his last name, stood up and he basically quoted the book of Jeremiah. He threw down a bottle that broke, and basically God said he's done with warnings. Okay, now look, God will always warn. People have dreams and stuff. But the nation has forsaken the warnings of the living God. And, you know, there's three types of watchmen, you guys. There's the one that God appoints, 
and that's Ezekiel 33. They're the ones that the people appoint to basically stand guard at night, and then they're the ones that appoint themselves, steal everything else from everybody, and claim they're them. I get about 50 of those people a day in my email box. And I said, okay, tell me something that's going to happen. Well, uh, uh, I don't know. Well, here's what we're trying to do. The Lord, it says, surely the Lord God will do nothing except he reveals his secrets to his servants, the prophets. You should jump forward to Revelation, uh, what is it, 19, 10, and it says the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. And so that's where that's what we're talking about. I may be off on the Revelation passage, and I apologize. Was up all night with this horrific cough. And by the way, most people get sprayed. At, you know, thirty-one thousand, thirty-five thousand feet. The uh, the spray filters down. Uh, you know, uh, precipitates out. I get a special treatment from those devils and their flying machines. And you know, I just thank all of you intercessors that keep praying for me. I love you guys. I bless you in Jesus' name. But Doug, we are at the point now where. There, in essence, I could say this. The Lord said prophetically, my wrath is absolutely boiling over. People say, well, God said I'm not appointed to wrath. That's true. He's angry at sin every day. See, people think that God is this gray-haired, benevolent guy that Michelangelo painted in the uh, Sistine Chapel, and somehow that's been anthropomorphized, and that's not even accurate. The Bible says God is a spirit, and they who worship him must worship him in spirit and truth. Jesus is his son. Jesus said, if you see me, you've seen the Father. And people say, no, we don't want to deal with Jesus. But the point is, he is our ark. Can I tell you something? If Jesus was not my ark, I would absolutely, uh, I don't know, I'd probably just head off to a desert island with a case of whiskey every day and just basically drink myself into oblivion. I tried to do that, by the way, at an early age, and thank God God got a hold of me. And it wasn't a case, but it was enough to, you know, put a 13-year-old into alcohol coma. But the point is, is that we're there. You guys were there. And we're there. That means that everything is in place. Everything is waiting for the event. And I'm telling you this, from the Watchman's Conference, to a man, to an absolute man, independently, not conversing with each other until it was all presented for everyone to, to pay. And the purpose of that was Isaiah 52, eight, that the Watchman would see eye to eye. In other words, the people who have been in this field, and I guess I was one of the oldest guys there, not by age, there were people there that were uh, close to 80, and uh, I think one or two 70, I'm 60, so, but the thing is, is that it was coming uh, fast and furious that the Lord said, there's going to be a threefold judgment on the United States of America, there's going to be the new world order, the global elite, the pillage of plying, the plundering, the wars, and there's going to be the earth changes, where God himself is going to rain judgment down upon the United States. Oh, and by the way, the rest of the world doesn't escape it either. And then the third prong of judgment, this was Brother Augusto Perez, and I have the, the ability to speak this for it, because, uh, you know, I mean, he, he, he didn't say you can't talk about it. He said that Lord showed him the third prong is a fallen angel deception, the return of the Nephilim, all the stuff, Doug, I've been talking about oh, for yeah. 35 years. And here's a guy I've never talked to in my life, didn't even know him, except I've heard the name, and he comes and gives that threefold vision. Wow. And Steve, I want to tell you, you were, you were right on uh, with your Revelations quote. It was chapter 19, verse 10. Uh, and, and I want to uh, read another uh, scripture, Ephesians chapter 6, verses uh, 12 and 13. Uh, it says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers, against the rulers of the dark, darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Uh, wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and that having done all, to stand. And uh, the part that sticks out with me, and we read this before on air, is we are definitely fighting against uh, powers that are not of flesh and blood, and we are also fighting against powers that are human, working with the powers that are not flesh and blood. Uh, you know, in a super attack, we are being brainwashed, uh, misled, misguided, and I just, you know, we really appreciate uh, your wisdom and knowledge and ability to bring this information uh, and these warnings to the public because, like you said earlier, we are too complacent. People are not grateful for what we have in this country. We have lost all the moral fabric that we were built upon, uh, that this nation was built upon. Uh, we were a Christian nation, and as you pointed out earlier, we have, uh, no matter what we call ourselves, we are no longer that same Christian nation uh, with all the abortions, the wars, and the, the, the murders that take place. 
Uh, it, it's absolutely mind blowing, and, and people are scared. The people that are awake are 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 worried. Uh, they don't know what's going to happen and, and when it's going to happen. And then you have the the ignorant people who don't who don't want to see anything. And then you have the evil people uh, who are ignorant on purpose or either working in tandem with these people trying to overthrow humanity. And we see it with the GMOs. They're, they're destroying the genetics of everything, our, our bodies, uh, the plants, the food. They're poisoning the water. We are being attacked from all angles and, and more so from places we can't see than w when we can see. So it's very hard for people to, to get on board and to understand this. But once again, I, you know, I just wanted to, to say thank you uh, for the work you do. And uh, I hear you're coughing, and I know last time uh, you, you weren't feeling well either. Um, I, I hope you get better, and we, we pray for, for a fast healing. Well, for you. thank you.